Hey, it's Megan. I'm back to shooting videos. Yay. It's been a while. I'm doing a whole bunch and I'm going to link these all with, um, you know, in the description to the other videos. I'm doing the Mac Mariah Carey collection. I bought a whole bunch of stuff because, gosh, I need more makeup, right? Um, and so I will be doing each of them individually and putting a list as they're uploaded in the description to the other videos. So, what did I think overall? And every video is going to be slightly different because I haven't done a video for so long. I'm not sure I really remember how to do a video, so they're not going to be super slick. Um, what did I think? I just, I don't know. It just is such a romantic collection. It really touched my inner princess side. And um, so, you know, the colors are all pretty applicable for most people on an everyday basis. And uh, there was enough variety. If you can do nude lips, there's enough variety that there's something for everyone. I really like the collection. So I have here for this, oh, I should say before I go further, it is slightly more expensive than the regular MAC collection. So MAC Sweet Fantasy Blush. So $24 for 0.21 ounces in the beautiful glitter silver packaging. And um, this does not have... This is like a gold with the Mariah signature. This doesn't have the little like sparkle things that the eyeshadow palette has. So we open it up and it's a mostly, mostly matte with a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, peachy pink blush. So there you can see. And so what did I say about it? I said it is a pink coral and it's got almost a matte undertone and like I said it's just got little bits of shimmer that don't really show up I think on my cheek so much. I have a I have the highlighter here. So we've got the cheek and the highlighter both. But I don't think it shows the shimmer so much on the cheeks. It looks almost matte on. But when I take it outside in the sunlight then I can kind of see a little bit of a like a gold sheen to it. Um it has definitely a warmer undertone. I um, I've also ordered the pink blush because I just ordered way too much, but I haven't gotten it yet. And I, I would say compared to some other MAC blushes I have, it's a little bit firmer in texture than some of the others. It's a little bit stiffer, but on my skin, um, it really applies very easily. And I think I've read that there are some formula issues from some other reviews. I did not have any problems with this particular blush myself, but it is a little stiffer. So it's not like it's a bad blush. It's just you have to maybe, I don't know, just use a lighter hand in applying it and then blend a little bit. But for me, for a coral blush, it's also a lot more pigmented. Um, Mariah Carey has darker complexion than I do. So I've got to wonder if, and especially looking at kind of the face products, including the highlighter, they are going to work well on complexions that are a little bit darker than mine and it's not that they're not going to work on my complexion beautifully because I think they do it's just that I have to maybe be a little careful not to apply too much and then blend a little bit so that's a good thing right we want collections that we need to blend out a little bit if we're lighter but that are going to apply really well if you're darker because we have different complexions out there so that one I this complexion I this the face products in this um, collection I think so far the ones I've tried really do balance that um, anyway I, I like the blush it's just a good basic it's gonna match with like almost everything as long as you like a coral pink blush anyway that's the blush video I'm gonna keep trying to shoot these and get through them one by one thanks for watching mm -hmm.